The single cylinder engine is alive and kicking in Austria. With the release of the new 2016 690 Duke, KTM is presenting the most powerful production single ever offered to the public in a revamp package that now includes a full suite of rider electronics including traction control, variable engine modes and ABS. The Duke's been around since 1994 and is a linchpin for KTM's continued on-road success, so we went to the holiday mecca of Los Palmas off the Spanish coast to see if the fifth generation Duke lives up to expectations. Uh, welcome to the Canary Islands. Uh, we've been out there testing uh, the brand new KTM 690 Duke uh, for 2016. Now uh, this is the fifth uh, iteration of the Duke range. It started in the 90s and uh, the, the previous one came out in, uh, in 2011. Now, uh, KTM's gone completely, it might look fairly similar to the old bike, but uh, KTM's gone completely over this thing top to bottom. Uh, the engine is completely new, uh, which is a great thing for, for people that uh, remember the vibes of the old one. If you, uh, if you ever got on the freeway at you know, 50, 60 uh, miles an hour, you would, get, uh, you would get a fair few vibes come through the handlebars. Thankfully, that's pretty much gone on this bike. They've uh, they've tried really hard to smooth out, uh, to smoothen out that uh, that big uh, big old single single cylinder engine. And uh, I mean, look, they're the only ones that really make a single now. Everyone's kind of going to parallel twins or triples even. KTM is really the only one that really punches on continuously with a uh, with a single cylinder engine. Yeah, top to bottom, she's brand new. New crank, new pistons, new valves, new valve train. Uh, it's it spins up a lot easier, a lot freer as well. It doesn't feel quite as restricted uh, when you get on the gas. Um, it comes uh, like the original. As soon as you get on the throttle, uh, you'll notice that that initial sort of just crack open the throttle. Whereas the old one had a little bit of a bit of a punch to it, as a big old cylinder, uh, single cylinder bike does. Uh, this one is a little bit smoother. Chassis wise, uh, it's fairly similar to the old bike. Uh, unadjustable WP front end, preload adjustable on the rear. Um, for my weight, I'm 200 odd pounds, a uh, little bit undersprung for me. Uh, I suppose if you're a, a little bit of a whippet, you know, you're a 160, 170 pound uh, rider, it should suit you just fine. One of the great things about the KTM Duke range is just how well you can chuck the thing into a corner. You get a lot of feedback from these tyres as well, these Metzler tyres. It just feels, the bike feels like it's your friend. It wants, uh, wants you to have a play. Uh, how easy that engine is to rev, how good it is in the brakes. It's a really cool little bike. Uh, it's gonna be a great city bike, something that you can sort of dart around on to go and get, to, go and get your coffees on on a Sunday morning. Uh, it's gonna be really cool for new riders as well. This isn't gonna be a kind of bike that's gonna, gonna scare you half to death, which is gonna be something you know, new riders are gonna want. Uh, with this 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 version, you get one riding mode, but you can, which is the street mode, but you can buy a track pack as well. Now, a track pack gets you two different other modes. It gets you uh, like a, a sport riding mode and, and a rain riding mode as well. Uh, the sport mode gives you that almost that similar feeling to what the old engine did, where you get that little bit of a punch off the bottom end. Uh, but the the rain mode obviously dulls it back down a fair bit. But, uh, Look, it's a great bike, uh, 8999, it's going to go for in, in here in the States. Uh, so, you know, you've pretty, got a pretty good value bike. Uh, I suppose the biggest thing will be, uh, and always has really been for KTM, and that's convincing people the benefits of a single cylinder engine. You know, the people now, FC07, FC09s, uh, Ninja 650s, you know, they're all twins or triples or above. Uh, trying to get people to really realise that these things aren't just old dirt bike engines, you know, they're proper engines in their own right. And they'll be really surprised when they hop on this thing, realise how smooth it is, how much power it's got. It's a really cool bike and uh, I think you'll probably be seeing a fair few of them around your streets fairly soon.